All right, so this one wants both. Let's focus first on this f of g of x stuff. And I'll do my f of x is in green, and the g of x is in purple. <clears throat> now this one specifically is f of g of x. And this is, I mean, this is still a formal notation that, oh boy. Uh, and that's okay, so let's figure out what, I'm sorry, so g of x, rather, is this purple function, just x squared, like this, right? So, <clears throat> this would equal x, which now is going to be x squared, and then I would have had that minus 3. <clears throat> so, to write this out in its formal notation... We got f of g of x equals x squared minus 3. And that was that last expression that we got right there. Why wouldn't it just... All right, let's look at the next one. So that's g of f of x. And this one would be g of f of x, which is x minus 3, sorry, x minus 3 like this. <clears throat> and that would equal, originally it was x squared, right? But right there it shows that we're going to replace x with that x minus 3. So I'm just going to replace it here, x minus 3. And I'm okay leaving it like that. It doesn't say anywhere that we need to change this into a trinomial or a quadratic. So I'm just going to say that g of f of x equals x minus 3 squared. And that'll do.